We've all experienced those frustrating moments where you're waiting for the ball only to have it bounce off or slip completely through your foot. But don't worry, in this video I'll show you the drills needed to transform your first touch from a liability into a powerful weapon on the field. Alright guys, the first tip to having a good first touch is working on cushioning the ball. Imagine your foot is as soft as a pillow. And when you take your first touch, you want to absorb the ball's momentum by mating the ball a split second it makes contact with your foot. Now that you have a soft first touch, you need to work on tip number two. Which is to make sure that when you take your first touch that you don't stop the ball because it will end up getting stuck underneath your feet and you may even need two or three touches to take the ball in the direction you want. This leads on to tip number three, which is to take your first touch forward by pushing the ball in the direction you want to go. By doing this, you're exploiting open spaces and taking pressure off yourself, which makes it harder for you to lose the ball. If you're in a 1v1 situation, you may even want to push the ball towards the defender to keep them on their toes. Now, I'm going to show you the drills you need to do to perfect your first touch. Let's get into it. Part one of our journey is juggling. Juggling works on balance, timing and softness of your foot. You'll begin to develop a feel and touch for the ball so you can make better decisions when controlling it during the game. Part two is wall juggling. Juggling against the wall simulates the flight of the ball you would encounter during a match. This will help you develop a better understanding of how the ball moves through the air, preparing you to receive passes with more confidence on the pitch. Number three is passing and receiving. If you find a wall, passing against it will help you in being able to cushion the ball's impact and absorbing its energy. The drills I will show you will also help you have an intention with your first touch and ensure it goes where you want it.
we go guys, I've shown you the drills, now it's up to you to go out there and do them. If you really want to improve your first touch, aim to train your first touch for at least 3 to 5 times a week, for at least an hour, and odds are, you'll begin to see improvements. But, that's it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, now get out there and start improving.